Welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Scratch. This video is brought to you by Dragonair Silent Gods. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Big shout out to Newverse for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited to be able to dive into the second season of Dragonair, guys. The Fall of Increscent. Brand new season, span new game. We actually have so many new things to cover in today's video, in today's stream. But we're gonna get to that in just a second. But if you're not familiar with Dragonair just yet, guys, it's an open world high fantasy RPG game with Western graphics. It incorporates some tabletop mechanics from Dungeons and Dragons like dice rolling, quests, puzzles. Of course, you're gonna have a lot of bosses to defeat, a lot of loot to collect. Dragonair actually has a lot of collaboration events with Dungeons and Dragons, guys. In season one, we had Drist and Earth to the Baller, so that was an amazing event. Definitely looking forward to. Uh, season 2 and if you guys want to download the game head over to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment the game is available to download on pc you can download it on an epic game store you can download it on steam you can download it directly from their website because they have their own client too you can download it on mac you can download it on android you can download it on ios it's a cross-platform game so you're going to be able to play it anywhere at any time and never skip a beat now, how I mentioned, brand new season, span new game. We actually have a lot of things that uh, we got to check in, uh, in today's video. Just to kind of like start from the very beginning. We have a smoother experience when we start playing the game. We have uh, faster growth, better graphics, you know. And I love that they are constantly working to improve the graphics. I feel like most of the games are falling behind with this part and uh, they're not stepping their game up like Dragonair does in here you know we have over 30 new characters 30 new heroes we have a new race the malforks or how i like to call them the mermaids they will be our frenemies because we're going to be able to collect some of them and of course we're going to be able to fight quite a few of them at the same time we have new elemental affinity guys which uh combos different uh, uh elemental affinities together different from uh, from the past season of course then how i mentioned we have 30 new heroes. Now, together with the 30 new heroes, we have three new uh, damage architectures. We have the Ice Blast, we have the Burn, and we have the Thunderbolt. And my god, the heroes look amazing. We got brand new dungeon bosses, guys. We have a new endgame boss too, uh, which will be unlocked, of course, together with the Otherworld event a bit later on uh, in the game. But I just wanted to share it with you guys. The boss looks amazing, and I'm looking forward to it. We have new artifacts, we have new gear sets, and the most important thing, we have a brand new area to explore. We have a brand new map, brand new story, guys. And I know a lot of you guys are massive lore fans. Dragonair is the right game for you because of this single reason. Leaving all the other good things on the side, of course. And they have a very immersive storyline. So if you're a lore fan, definitely head over to the link in the description down below and check the game out for, uh, for yourself, you know. And... We're going to get to explore some mysterious islands, guys. We actually have a boat now, so we can sail. That's the whole new area, which is pretty, pretty interesting. And once we are done with uh, exploring the mysterious islands, we can actually explore the underwater world, which is the home of the Melforks, of course. And yeah, these are some of the new things that came in Season 2. Of course, you have the new seasonal rewards, guys. The new seasonal uh, summoning banners, which you should definitely uh, check out. But that being said, guys, this will be a highlight from the stream, so hopefully you're going to enjoy it and find it helpful. Let's dive straight into it. But let's crack on with the story for the moment, guys. I think we got uh, we got at the vortex, and from here on, we should be able to kind of like uh, move over to the rest. Let's quickly do our uh, daily commissions too, because that's what we're going to do today. We're quickly going to get rid of the dailies and continue with our uh, story through, through campaign for Season 2, guys. See what else we have to... To, to discover in the new sandbox. Okay. You guys know the drill already. The game has a very immersive storyline. If you're lore fans, there is no doubt that Dragoner is the right game for you. Caraman and Questa, Mera in Arena. I mean, yeah, Caraman and uh, Questa have been pretty strong before too. You got Faesa yesterday. I'm not even jealous. Malak, yeah, is, is solid as well, but he's more of an Arena champion. So I got my luck as well last night, guys. I got my luck and I got another one. Okay, well, what's what's happening here with this puzzle? It's a bit uh, of an odd one, huh? There we go. Not Malaka, just Malak. No, not Malaka. <laughs> Faesa is probably probably one of the best new legendaries added to the game. 
and she's not even an exclusive. The exclusives are amazing for damage, right? Like they they're going to break your door and just come in your house. That's how powerful they are. But Faessa, she's just so so good as a support champion. I I I really need to get her. Like there's there's no uh, no no questions asked or anything. I need her. Let me just put it like that. I need her. But Cole Bruski, what's up? So the area ahead is passable. We should be able to collect another piece of rare gear from there, most probably. Would you prioritize burn or wild at the start? So burn right now is the new architecture of damage. And uh, if you have multiple champions to set each other up to really bring in a lot of AoE damage, they're great. So they do a lot of AoE damage. Wild do a lot of single target damage. So it really depends uh, what sort of plans you have uh, ahead. I feel like overall, overall, burn will help you more with the goblins. So my my uh, my advice to all of you guys, I will be doing a video on uh, tips how to start season two. I will be dropping that tomorrow, what to prioritize and everything. I really intended to do it today, but I just didn't have the, uh, the time to get to it. You want to prioritize Goblin over everything else. So you've seen the team that I picked this season is really highly focused on the Goblin. Because that will allow me to quickly farm farm XP potions for my team. And then develop quickly my, uh, my other teams, you know. And level, level these ones up very quickly. So that makes a massive, massive difference. You know, you kind of want to, to be on top of the situation with that, you know. So AoE is... Probably the best choice for you, but at the same time, make sure you have a decreased attack. Make sure you have the 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 right things. You see, I have only AOE champions in here. I have, of course, a healer, which is not an actual healer because it's a tank. But Frerbart kind of like uh, fills uh, fills all the roles in here. We have Sigrid, we have a uh, Yola, we have Irina, and we have Voresh. Now, for the beginning, you only need a three man elemental affinity because you haven't unlocked the five man elemental affinity anyway. So if you're doing this, you're going to be uh, covered. Pick three of, uh, three of the elemental affinities that kind of like want to combine together and go with that. And after, you literally just need to bring in two more champions that are kind of like ticking the rest of the boxes for you. You might need a good tank. You might need some sort of a support. Can we steal today, please? Because yesterday we've been very unlucky with, uh, with my tefty, uh, tefting skills. You know, I wasn't able to, to steal anything. I was getting caught at every step. And right now I'm handcuffed, you see? <laughs> they're, they're making me pay the fine because I stole, uh, I stole the gold or who knows what else I stole from these vendors. That's another cool thing that uh, you can do in Ragnar, to steal items from, <laughs> from the vendors. Let's purchase these ra uh, rare keys because they might help us with something. What other goodies can we purchase from these vendors? Apples, okay, we don't really care about that. Actually, we just traded with him, so let's... Let's bounce from here. And you will quickly have to explore some of the older areas to collect the rewards, which is good because you are getting extra rewards from them. So can definitely not complain about that, you know. Resurrect the uh, point active. Let's get a chest from here. We should be having a chest coming down. If you already have a good Radiant team, don't worry about Burn team. You just picked up uh, Astius and he's sleeping in the vault for now. Yeah, I don't think they will be the, uh, the Radiance team. No way. The problem with the Burn, you need a lot of stacks. It's pretty hard to set them. And uh, if they're spread around at bigger distance on the map, it will be pretty hard to really make them, uh, make them effective. Radiance is just, is just the top, you know. Like I don't think any of them will drop my Huberg out of the team, you know. So let's activate this and uh, deal with this uh, mini boss in here. Let's deal with this mini boss. So what do you guys think about the new race? The new, the new uh, Merfolk characters that they've been added and enemies because we have a bunch of them everywhere on, a, on the new uh, sandbox, you know. I'm going, uh, I'm going poison and lightning. I'm going Poison and Lightning, at least for the very moment. And for the Vortex, I'll be going, uh, I'll be going Poison with Fire. 
at the moment because I only need a three man elemental affinity. After I will I will change to something else. I got my very first legendary hero from I got my very first legendary hero from uh the horn today guys. We got Sura and I really wish it would have been Sagomir for the decreased attack for my Radiance team. It would have been amazing. So I'm gonna have to wait a bit with that. If I'm gonna get uh, Faesa, I'm definitely gonna go Radiance. Like she's just so good, so so good. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Poison with Fire. So it does. I I basic basically I'm going Fire. Basically I'm going Fire. Okay, so ignore the the rest because. You don't get to 5-man elemental affinity. You only get to 3. Now, when I'm going to get to the higher difficulties, once I'm going to max my Psychic Core, that's when I'll be looking to get a 5-man elemental affinity, you know? And that's when I'm, go I'm going to drop the Poison and the Fire and move to something else. But for the moment, I'll be going Erich, Tunnel Nun, uh, probably Caspar. I'll be going uh, with uh, either Rata or Adolphus, and I'll be going with... Uh, Furbart. And that will take me easily to, to the, highest, uh, the highest difficulty for the moment, you know. But it's not going to matter till you get here. That's when, that's when you're going to be able to, to change to 5-man elemental affinity and make it count, you know. What does new season reset? Uh, what does it get you? So you're getting the seasonal uh, shop with the currency that you farm for the entire season. I actually ranked number 69. And you are getting the rewards that uh, you had for the actual ranking. So based on uh, your ranking, I'm not sure how well you did or how well you're doing. But right here, you're up to top 150 for the last season. You'll be getting a mount, the horse that I have, the flaming horse. You'll, you'll be getting Heliolite dice, you'll be getting wire marrow, and you're getting these scrolls, guys. This will allow you to summon legendary heroes with a mercy of 10 dice, which is huge. And it has a reduced pool of heroes. If you get epic ones, you'll be getting some of the new legendaries. You'll be getting some of the old ones, but not all the champions in game included. Some the old ones are not that impressive for the epics, at least for me. It didn't feel like that that wow. But the new ones, they were nice. I missed on Faesa. I got Dalk from there and I got Malak. So brand, uh, two brand new tanks from the 20 summons that guaranteed me legendaries, which I, I was very happy with those two picks, you know, 100%. But that's pretty much what the season uh, gives you. So that's why you want to you wanna rank up. But once you go to the store, to the seasonal shop, I'm going to show you everything that I purchased because I got a lot of goodies. I got 15 Heliolite dice, 5 legendary scrolls, 10 epic scrolls. I got 500 gems from here. And I got all these uh, exclusive uh, season uh, season one uh, avatars and uh, frames. It resets character level. Yeah, it resets character level because you're starting again, basically, uh, with a whole uh, a whole new experience. You know, you have a, a new storyline. You have new quests. A lot of new uh, things that changed. You get new gear sets. You get new champions. New bosses with new uh, with new skills as well, and just brand new bosses all around. You get a new a new type of uh, of uh, characters, a new race in game. There's so many new things coming uh, coming to it with a new season. So the whole idea of seasons, guys, basically is like a race that will have a finish line. So every every end of season is the finish line. Okay, think about it. Rather than have a marathon that never ends, this is like a sprint, and whoever crosses the finish line in top 300 will get some of the best rewards. The rest as well will get good rewards too, of course, because everybody is entitled to some seasonal rewards, regardless of how you ranked. I feel like all the way up to top 95%, you're still getting some scrolls that are guaranteeing you a legendary hero in 10 summons, you know? Which, even that all alone is pretty good. Plus, you're going to get some Echo of Clepsidra that will allow you to purchase different items from the seasonal shop, which, again, they're more rewards. So, look at the season like that sprint where you want to finish as fast as possible. And I'm not talking necessarily, time is more of a metaphor. You want to finish as good as possible, ranking as high as possible to claim more rewards. So you start the next season better equipped, better prepared. So when you're taking on the next race, on the next sprint, you're already knowing exactly what you're going to have to do. But with brand new challenges, a brand new storyline, so many new things to, to explore, you know. and 
that's kind of like what keeps the game fresh, keeps the flow flow going, basically. Does that make sense? Exactly. Like that emoji, you know? But let, let's collect our, our loot from here quick to finish to explore this and let's head over to the new sandbox. Day 2 of Season 2, guys. Brand new game, span new season. Brand new season, span new game, my bad. So we're going to have a boat now. If, if you haven't had a chance to check it out yesterday, you're literally going to have a boat and you're going to be able to explore the seas, collect new, new treasures from there and uh, get, uh, get a lot of rewards. Let's quickly just uh, beat this boss. So there are quite a, quite a few things that are really, really interesting, guys. Really, really interesting. Pikachu. You guys summoned anything, uh, anything good? Why you guys summoned, huh? You didn't finish the story of season one. Uh, well, probably you're not going to jump straight in season two then, you know. Four more days for you. Nice, Pikachu. Nice. So once you're ready with that, then you can uh, move over and claim the riches of season two and explore the new, the new open world. Engage with the new characters. Find out the new lore. And of course, challenge the new bosses. Collect the new heroes. Followed your advice and got a lot of re uh, resources stacked. That's, that's the way to do it. Like, once you're done with the... Um, with the uh, Chaos Shadow bosses, the open world bosses, you're done with the Resurgent Dragon or the boss we, we're gonna get a brand new boss instead of the resurgent dragon as well guys for whoever knows what i'm talking about once you uh, get into the other world event that's kind of like for the last four to six weeks of the season you get a boss in there the main boss right the end game so we're gonna have a brand new boss instead of the dragon which seems pretty interesting a massive robot with massive tentacles and uh, seems like he's uh, he's going to to create us a lot of uh, a lot of troubles, you know. It's like we have to defeat that one, that uh, enemy there as well, and we should be able to collect the the middle chest. Let me just quickly give them a bit of a healing in here. Crazy apples! We do have drops enabled, guys. If you haven't connected your Dragon Air Silent Gods account to Twitch TV, make sure you guys do it. You can do it by heading over to the events tab in Dragon Air. And you're going to have a, a page there that's called Twitch Drops. Click on it. It will prompt you directly to connect your account. Make sure you do that because by watching the stream, you'll be collecting goodies. You're going to unlock different milestones that will reward you for every minute you spend in the stream, guys. And of course, if you like, uh, if you like and uh, follow, subscribe, all the good stuff, that's just already rewarding you, basically, you know. With good karma and everything else that you need. Poison and ice is good, but you lack on radiance and across is good champs. So what I really lack for uh, my radiance and uh, and frost, I'll be honest, is to have a very good uh, support that does a tag down as well. So I feel like I'll be struggling a bit to cover that uh, that on my uh, on my account. I have very good damage damage for uh, for my radiance. You know, I'm still missing. Uh, Filter, of course, and uh, a couple more. But other than that, I'm doing I'm doing great there, you know. Groon Sleek, thank you for the follow. What's up? What's up? I can't. I, I couldn't believe when I've seen twenty today, man. That I got the uh, that I got a, a legendary. You know, I was like, wow, wow. That's literally how it felt. Oh, do I still have another one? 
Not that I can... Uh... Hmm. So we came from here, we cleaned that area. Maybe we have to go a bit more in the front. Ah, it's just here, okay. Give me my chest. Give me my wire marrow and my my uh, my dice, you know. Let's defeat this opponent too. Oh yes, guys! Out of the new the new champions, which one is your most wanted? Oh, we have a we have a burn on our team. It's kind of like a like a handicap. Seems like it. We start directly with a burn. Interesting. Interesting. Parkunt as well, you got everything inside him, damn. I still I still have to to try it a bit here. Yeah? To to try and get him. I have a feeling I won't be giving up today. <laughs> Let me just put it like that. I have a feeling I won't be giving up today. But yeah, he seems he seems awesome. He's literally the best chance, like how how the game uh, describes it as well. Once in a blue moon is the best chance to get the exclusive heroes too, you know. You're wishing me U-tier? Why? I already have U-tier. I, I cannot get him again. <laughs> You're wishing me U-tier. If you're doing reverse psychology, I like that. I like that, you know. Greeter, what's up? Hello, hello. Is season two fun? Yeah, tons of fun so far, actually. Yeah. Tons of fans. Oh, we got one of these. Okay, nice. And 1000 journey XP. That's good. So that should uh, allow us to do this too today, by the looks of it. I think. So we've done one, two, three, and four. Okay. Okay. I think I've only got one piece of the gear, though. Unless I missed it. Unless I missed it. Let me just quickly do my uh, other uh, commission. And then we're going to jump on the boat and continue our uh, exploration. I still need to uncover the map. I haven't finished uncovering the whole map, you know. What about the Goblin, guys? Whoever is in Season 2, have you managed to get all the way to, to Goblin 5 on, uh, on this one here? I've got to it, but I haven't managed to pre-start it. Not with the uh, the team that I that I started with, you know. Sunshines, what's up? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Do you think you'll be able to get two million on Vortex today? I'm not sure, but we're gonna try for sure. So, I I feel like we're gonna be able to do that on the stream too. You finished it today with Rally Team, nice. Okay, so we uncovered this as well. That was unexpected. But this will give us another piece of uh, rare gear, so we kind of want to do it quick, you know? And then we're going to continue our journey into the new sandbox. Let's just quickly wipe them off. Jeez. <laughs> I need to make myself an emote like that as well. I need to make me some fun, cool emotes. You can get two stars. Oh, nice. On a, on a, the goblin, right? Probably I will be able to get uh, three stars today. Uh, once I'm going to level up my heroes more, you know. Once I'll get them up from level 50 onwards, I'm, I'm definitely getting, uh, getting the stars. And I feel like for the goblin, I'm not going to move... Towards the goblin till I'm done with uh, with this, you know. Uh, the goblin, the vortex, sorry. Because once we're gonna rank them to the next level, I'm gonna be able to equip my artifacts on, and those are such a game changing uh, thing, you know. Uh, reckless, yeah. How is uh, how is your account doing like? 
what was your ranking for last season? What was your ranking for... Ooh, what happened with my team here? Ah, they exploded, okay. Aurora, what's up? Yola, Vore, Sigrid, good, good in a Goblin, yep. That's, that's what, I, what I have right here. Okay, got you. So you finished uh, number 45. Yeah, uh, shoot me a DM in uh, in Discord and uh, I'll get you in uh, I'll get you in our Discord basically. Easy. We got this down. You see, you have these traps on the map, so when you're deploying your characters, it's so, so important to uh, pay attention to your surroundings, you know? B Babushka, what's up? How are you doing? Seems like I'll need soon some more healing potions. Bromber Game, welcome to the stream. Appreciate the follow. What's up? What's up? You good? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Kit Kat, hello, 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 hello. How are you all beautiful people doing today? How are you beautiful people doing today? Now is it to see how uh, you have fun and you must wait four more days. You're almost there, bro. You're almost there. Look at the good part. Buy ah, the you see, good that I bought the keys, guys. Good that I bought the keys. Make sure you're purchasing those keys as well from the vendor. Three mysterious keys. Seems like they gave me some uh, wire marrow. They gave me some uh, more uh, more materials. So we got to complete three more dungeons. We're going to do that after. I had so much fun in Arena last night because uh, nobody was able to, to do anything too crazy, you know? And it uh, was actually a lot, of, a lot of fun just macking some of the teams around. around. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. What do we have? Oof. My God. This is intimidating here. Oh, we cannot. Okay, we cannot place there. It was looking like, well, what's happening, you know? Which vendor? Uh, I'll show you once I'll get on the on the map where I found him. It won't be the exact location, but it will be the approximate location. Hi, you level 30. Nice game. PvE and PvP. Glad you like it. Yeah, definitely pretty solid. Definitely pretty solid. And lots of new things coming, uh, coming to it with every season, which is even better, you know. You won every fight with lucky cards. Yeah, I gotta push so hard this season to get my lucky cards, man. I didn't have a chance to do it last season. So I feel like this will be another chest that requires a key. Or maybe no. Oh, we got baited. We got baited. So you see, like, for example, guys, if you're not familiar, if you're not familiar with all this, check this out. You have these enemies on the map, right? These ones... It will show you the red line, so they will instantly attack your uh, your champion. Probably stun them too. So you want to dodge all your heroes from the two lines, you know, regardless of uh, which side they are, just to keep them safe, you know. You see, bang! They they stretch their hands and they attempted to either stun them, either control them in a way or another, you know. Ciprian, merci de follow. Welcome to the stream. Scratch ranked 32 with 17 days before end of season. Oh, nice. And free to play too. Awesome, dude. That's awesome. Great, great stuff. I, I finished number 69 on my server. But my server was a sweaty one. A sweaty one. So check this out. I got the keys, okay, approximately from this place here. I think that's where the vendor it was for me. But I feel like that vendor might be moving around. Uh, 
That's awesome, awesome, awesome ranking. Where you can see the rank, so if you click right here on the clips in that trail, you will be seeing a rank right here. At the moment, I'm not ranked because I haven't earned any clip, uh, Echo F Clipsidra, but that's where you're seeing it. So go go up on the right top corner, and you're gonna click on uh, the the button there, and then go to Echo F Clipsidra. You're gonna see that big Clipsidra, you know. Click on it, and at the bottom right corner, you'll be seeing uh, rank. But of course, for season two, we're not ranked yet because it just started, you know. And there, you're gonna be able to see rewards on the left side to see what you're getting based on your ranking. Shelter needs enlightenment and attack, yeah. Not a problem. He's a very good epic champion. A very good epic champion. I could do a team like that for the Vortex, honestly. Shaltar. Uh, probably do uh, Shagrel. Uh... Bart and somebody else to get me the decrease attack to maybe okay so we got a second piece of gear that's what we wanted we can actually improve a bit our uh, our shop there our uh, cart you know market cart but I still need to un unlock two more uh, two more stones before I can move uh, out of this area so I don't have to come back later Great game, many times annoying too. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be normal if it's not uh, annoying sometimes for people, you know. I guess that's kind of like how how it is, you know. The good part is that it's a good game, you know. So uh, it keeps you busy. You're enjoying it. You're having fun. That's what matters. That's what matters. Like I had such a blast in the last season, and I'll be having another blast now. Yeah, I can get another tech set from the cart, exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm looking forward to unlock it. You're stuck on level 81. Uh, use more stun sets. Use more AoE uh, damage dealers. What happened here? Did we got attacked by, uh, by uh, orbs? Ah, yeah, we did. Okay. So, when you're getting stuck, you will need to use more AoE attack heroes. Use stun sets. That will be very, very important. So, that's not just very important. It's literally key to succeed. Key to succeed. How would you build Dorkoras? Full damage or derivative? Like, they need, they need the passive. That's the whole key. That's the whole key. The passive will bring the damage. And the, the, the rest will do the raw damage while their passive uh, brings in all the all the goodies, you know. Just trying to see where did I miss another another stone. Was it on this side? We definitely have one here. What so for Voresh, especially in endgame, guys, stun set is god. God. Is the endgame dragon hard? Pretty hard, Babushka. Uh, you will need six teams for it. So that is very important to make sure you guys are doing it because that will give you a massive boost in your ranking for the season, okay? So doing the Chaos Shadow bosses, doing the doing the endgame dragon, the, co uh, the copper dragon is so, so important. You have zero points in the ranking because you started a new season. And it's the same for me as well. I have zero points too. My oh god, these enemies are wrecking me here. I think my positioning was bad. I haven't even uh, looked at it. You know, you got you gotta you gotta look at this 
at these things uh, <laughs> when you start uh, start playing the game in a in a new season and stuff because it's pretty important. None of them went for the tank; they just literally picked my team uh, one by one. Bitter Impala, what's up? What's up? Yeah, having a having a blast, man. What about you? What about you? You just pulled him this morning. Nice. Yeah, Voresh is a, is one of the best epic champions in the game. Yeah. Oh damn! Still like this as well. I need more that uh, more healing. Huh? Yeah, it, it will be much easier with 70s, yeah. I just need to, to go and farm more uh, more goblin, you know. But I was trying to kind of like get this uh, done. I need I need potions as well. Uh, potions. Fragments to, to move from here too. Crisis. Lobov. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Total Timmy. Hello, hello, hello. I was gonna I was gonna buff the shield right before they kill my uh my fur bar, but I reacted too too slow. Jeff, two more days waiting for you. It's killing you. Almost there, almost there. Patience is the key. Patience is the key. Remember that. Patience is the key. Let's see what do we have in here. Azami, what's up? Hello, hello. How is it going? Somehow I missed somewhere one more uh, one more big stone to to sort out. I'm not sure where though. I got to got to look a bit better. So I've been in there. I've been ah, I haven't. I've got them all and I didn't even realize. Okay. Let's go to get the gear. So you're gonna have to upgrade your cart, guys, your bench, uh, but that will happen a bit later. And now we can purchase different. Ooh, we can purchase the Heliolite dice. Let's go. I I feel I feel like uh, I feel like I'll be dropping uh, something good out of it. Give me this rare rare set of gear. I need these healing potions too. Abstracting, what's up, what's up? How is it going? You want to pull now? I know, I know. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Okay, so we're getting our rewards from here too. Let's see. I think I might have to do some arena. Probably here. So... Clear Goblin Slayer Stage 3 or above 12 times, easy. Clear Frost Domain, Tempest Domain, Flame Domain 20 times, easy. And we gotta do improve one hero to 3 star, okay. So that's something that we need to, to do after. That's kind of like the, the goal. Okay, I didn't even realize that we had those ones still uh, chilling there with us. Greetings from Colombia. Hola, señor. Que pasa? Como estas? Bienvenidos. Yeah, doing doing great. Abstract. Doing great. Just trying to to grind uh, grind my things in here. You know, about about to to knock down uh, the new the new storyline in a second. But of course, we cannot we cannot start without going in here trying to get our uh, our Faesa. Come on, game. Give it to us. Give me, give me that sweet, precious legendary. Ah, oh, that was so close. That was so, that was so close. Zrax, he's an interesting one as well. Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber. You speak uh, Spanish great. Muchas gracias, señor. Puedo hablar, pero solo un poquito. Let's see, what are we getting from here? What are we getting from here? I need I need uh, uh, Zarlot and uh, Nathaniel as uh, as new ones. What changed to Nathaniel? Somebody said that uh, the kit changed on him. 
but I'll be honest, I have no idea what. Okay. You play for one month in the first season was nice, but you think it's good to be in a nice alliance to have some mates to play with? Yeah, 100%. Like, it's all about interacting with people, you know, social games. How to see the second season? So, uh, uh, Faraz, you're, you're going to be able to see right here in how long it starts for you. You know? If you come to the to the Clepsidra trail, you'll be able to find out pretty much all the information that you need to know about the upcoming season too, you know. So let's put a bit of a better gear on our heroes. Our tank. Ooh, he got attacked seriously. Couldn't you give me some different piece that could potentially benefit my character? But I guess he's still better. Because uh, I'll be leveling it up and the pair together will just generally give me some extra stats crit rate come on give me a percentage or even a flat i'll take a flat too hp accuracy beautiful okay so my tank is already juicier than he was before and i have a new helmet and i have a new a new weapon for my other damage there and i think i'm going to give them to Irina. Or I could give them to, to Lola. But I think Irina, just because of the double AoE, is going to be, be, to be, 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 be more beneficial. Yeah, it feels nice, Majestic. What's up? So far, so good, my dude. So far, so good, yeah. You know me. I tend to have a blast, usually. Okay, so we can't really upgrade much on, uh, on our gear anymore. But what I really need to do right now is to drop some of my stamina because I feel like I'm overflown on stamina. So uh, I need to, to go and drop some. The rifts, guys, don't do your rifts yet. Wait, wait with them, you know, like you have uh, quite a bit of a uh, time to, to do it. So let's... Hmm, if I do the goblin, it's not really going to do much for me because the main thing that I really need to get potions for uh, for my heroes, you know. So should I do should I do my frost? Who should I do? Lightning poison. I need some uh, fire materials too, I guess, because if I cannot build my vortex team after, it's going to be pretty pretty bad. So let's go go to the flame domain. I'm not sure if I can beat stage two. Honestly, but we're going to give it a go. But we're going to give it a go. We had Goblin fight. Yeah, I'm the same. I cannot restart it yet. But it's no point to, to rush it anyway. Like, you're not really going to get any wow benefits. It is nicer to be able to do it. But of course, uh, I don't think it really does anything too insane for you at the moment. You know, let's get the defense. It's going to benefit our team a bit more. Positioning is still key on the on the flame domain, guys. If no, you know, the HP burn will detonate, will uh, literally go from uh, box to box and uh, will wreck your team. So remember that. But right now I need to, to push a bit in here because I'm planning to reset my other heroes to be able to do Vortex, you know. And not just that I'm looking to do vortex but i'm looking to farm the poison lightning element uh, the domain you know and i need to do it with a different team if no i'll be getting destroyed with this so i'm curious if this if this is able to do this stage but seems like most probably we are able to do it if this doesn't kill me instant ah, okay maybe i spoke a bit too too early i feel like i need i i need a, a healer a good healer this is just not enough and if I'm bringing that in the team, that will be enough. So I think I'm going to have to bring in Vikak. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring in Vikak. That's what I, what I have to do here. So check this out, guys. For whoever is not familiar how this works, okay? You go right here. 
Even if you're not in season two, this works for every season when you start playing for the very first six days. Okay, remember that. You come right here to event. You have the Clepsydra Torrent. You select the hero that you completely want to reset because for whatever reason, you're just not feeling the vibe, okay? And right now, we're actually going to do it on Irina. Irina, I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling you. Give me back my, uh, my potions and everything else that I invested in you. And right now, what I'm going to do instead, I'm not going to go and do Vcook. I mean, maybe I'm going to do Vcook, actually, right? Let's do Rata. Let's do Rata. She's going to she's gonna be a bit better. The only problem is I need more potions. So let's go to this one. Yo, Lord, what's up? What's up? So I think we need two runs in here on stage one. We're not going to beat stage two because uh, that's where uh, the bonuses and uh, the handicaps come in play. And that will kind of like uh, knock down my team a bit. But we should be able to do this, you know. Yeah, I'm doing great. Doing great. So not only that Rata brings you decreased attack, guys. She brings you increased defense. She brings you increases the duration of debuffs on the target for 5 seconds. She brings you a debuff on the enemy that will reduce the damage based on how many buffs, uh, debuffs he has on himself, you know. Lord Warken, is it normal that your season 2 didn't start it yet? Uh, it is for the moment. So, for the moment, is my opinion too, is that it's a bit of a mess up because people are confused by it. And uh, I am really hoping that in the foreseeable future, in the future, for the next few seasons, they will be finding different sort of uh, uh, methods on how they can implement it better. Because at the moment, if you started playing... Uh, one month after me, your season will be delayed quite a bit till you get to it, you know, and uh, is a is a bit all, all over the place. But I'm pretty convinced that the more seasons we go in, the more catch up mechanics and different things will they, they will implement in the game, you know. As, as developers, they're really responsive, which is good, you know. They they are here to create a game that is is staying strong. They're not here to to just do a quick cash. Cash, uh, uh, cash grabs like others that come and go quick, you know. So that's that's the very good part of it. So now we can go back to the fire. I think we can do stage 2 now with, with Reita. Even though I don't really have that extra healing, maybe Vikak was good for the extra healing. But thinking about it, it doesn't really give you that much extra healing. You know, it's just one uh, debuff being removed. So, hopefully. Where can you see when it starts Season 2? So if you click on the Clepsydra right here, Clepsydra Trail, you're going to see the information here. That's where you're going to see that. Now I'm convinced I'm not going to be able to beat stage 3 though. So I'm not going to get too excited. I'm not going to get too excited for that. Let's put the gear on her. This is such an amazing, amazing legendary guys. Like trust me, you want a Rata in your life. It's funny because I was... I was talking with Neva, right, with my body, and uh, I was like, bro, this champion is so good. And then I went and I, I've done my summons, and I, I come back with Rayta, and I was like, bro, I literally got her. Like, what's the chance to talk about one champion out of, like, 80-plus uh, legendaries, how many we had uh, before, and get the one that you talked about, you know? Like, what's the chance? <laughs> so, we're going to cap, uh, keep the clans in order for when we get at the boss. We're going to dispel the burn which will uh, uh overall keep uh keep our team uh, on point and now faessa she's so so good you got berigor yesterday he's very good i got berigor uh berigor before the season uh, one ended literally before a few days before a couple of days before he's awesome he's awesome
Not sure how many of you uh, guys actually managed to see my uh, content creator uh, arena tournament, but he was MVP in the in the Necrosis team. Man, he, she still threw, threw a burn on us. You see the difference right now? The difference without the, the stacks of burn? Right now, I'm going to get hit hard. Okay. Okay, some of them survived. That's good. Yeah, so stage two is on farm. Nice. Stage two is, uh, is, is, is on farm. Yeah, it depends what you want to do with him, but you want to you wanna have him very tanky. You can go with resistance if you want. Uh, it's mainly what, what's the, the goal, like where are you planning to use him, you know? Uh, you you want to do pillar of trials? You think he's gonna help you in the in the fate? He's not really the the tank for uh, for the vortex, you know. Okay, so this is spot on. The problem that we have, how you've noticed, is that uh, Rayta or any other hero that I'm bringing right now, they won't be able to keep up the step with the boss on the cooldown, you know. So I know for a fact I won't be able to do the other stage. What's the debuff that uh, will make sure that the boss is not uh, activating the red triangle? Which what's that though? Like the burn or what are what are you after? What do you mean with the red triangle? Oh, she just cleansed before. We might not get it. Get it in. This one. So if you're trying to drop the burn, you gotta you gotta spread your heroes as well to leave one box in between them, you know? Because that's that's going to be key right here. Oh no, I'm dead here. I need to keep the cleanse. I need to keep the cleanse on manual. So I'm gonna have to completely stop my uh my rata. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a preset. Save the team. Edit time skill. Separate timings for continuous stages on. I haven't really used that much, though, honestly. So default is 20. But I feel like when I get to the, to the next stage, I think I need to put it at 17 or 18.5, just in case. And like this, I don't need to stay stuck to it, you know. So you literally need to position your characters with one one uh, box distance, you know, and uh, the boss will not e explode all the burn on you when you get to that part. Anyway, if, if I set her uh, too late with the 19 seconds, I'm still in trouble. I'm still in trouble. Yeah, I need, I need faster than 19 seconds. Okay. So what is that? Probably it's going to be like even less than 18 maybe. Huh? You know what? Let's just do it like this. It's a bit too early to set this. I'll just stop, stop her uh, ultimate till I get at the boss and manual that. Boss rot is 18 now. Okay. I, I never timed these bosses, like ever. So I've put 19, was too long, literally a second too long. I need a 17.5 there to make sure that the boss doesn't drop another stack on me. So I need a, the Rift Hourglass here, some skill haste to, to rotate my Rata fast enough. So she cleanses on point, you know, and do it on, on auto without a problem. Yeah, no skill haste yet, yeah. 
Appreciate the follow. Yuki, welcome, welcome. If you got all the drops from yesterday, are they more today? Uh, I don't think they will be. Oh, no, man. Okay, I paid attention to the chat there. Maybe, maybe we got it without having to back out from this too. Come on, decrease attack, Reita. Okay, it's game over. Well, actually, maybe, maybe Voresh is going to get the job done here. Frerbart with the dispel. Come on, Frerbart. Nice. Voresh soloing the boss. Nice. Who would have thought? Victory. We shall claim victory. We shall claim victory. I feel like my buff, uh, my buff got lost as well, though. It went to a two-minute break right when you were answering the question. So if you got if you got them yesterday, no, I don't. If you collected them all, you we don't have other new ones, you know. That's that's how it uh, how it works basically. No no new ones, no new juice today. No new juice today. Two minute break? I don't know. I'm not selling the break, bro. Okay, so he still ended a couple of burns on me there. He's boss. Unfound pain. Montezuma, what's up? What's up? How is it going? Okay, now they're going down. That was painful there. Without getting the cleanse in time. I feel like that's how we're gonna do it. I only need to do seven more. Seven more. Seven more of these. Then I'm gonna do my uh my my quest that requires me to do 20. And I feel like I'll be able to collect enough to do a couple of my uh fire heroes up. So then I can reset these ones, build that team, move over and do the the poison and lightning domain and then come back to it and then go and do some uh, some of the the goblin you know and get the, the xp that i need to level up my characters but that's the the, the main the main goal for uh, the vortex i need i need my fire my fire team and preferably to have them at uh, rank three so i can e equip artifacts on them that might allow me to reach the two million damage being great, theory crafting a necrofire team at the moment. Nice, nice. What are uh, you planning to do with it? Just general, general content, uh, goblin, some of the dungeons, or you're kind of like thinking more, uh, more on the vortex side. Ah, seriously, you're doing it right now. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay. Okay, this shield will save us. This shield will save us. Hopefully. There are a lot of... Yeah, it saved us. Okay, there, are, there were a lot of stacks, I was going to say. Codes. So the for the codes, you want to do promo code. Exclamation sign promo code. That's the command. Juicy, juicy, juicy. We got this. Four more to go. Uh, five more to go, actually, I think. Or six. Five or six. I skipped math today. So, Dragonair S2 from Season 2, probably still active. Uh, Dragon Season should be uh, active. And I don't think Drist is active anymore. But I might be wrong on it. I haven't, uh, haven't double-checked it. I haven't double-checked that. So let's see. Where are we getting from uh, from here? Ooh. 
Oof. Cleanse in time. And you still get one hit, no matter what you're doing. No matter what you're doing. Patty, thank you for the follow. Lady Valkyrie, hello, 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 hello. What's happening? Just got back from the store and uh, taking your truck to get oil change. Ooh, that's that's a lot of work. More general, you just got Quesitia from one of your Tamina uh, pool banners and trying to see if you can make a team to work with her with the roster that you have. She's a, she's a good one, though. She's a good one. What I don't like about her at the same time while I'm saying that she's good is that she's a defense-based champion. Everything in her kit involves attack the healing is based on attack the damage is based on attack so i'm not a fan of that uh exclamation sign drops exclamation sign drops exclamation sign promo code you got rosa and isa yeah i i don't like rose rosa i think she's the worst out of all and i got her too Torin is a is a very strong champion too, yeah. Definitely a nice one. Definitely a nice one. I'm so curious how we're gonna do on the vortex, guys. You have no idea. So, so curious. The good part is that I could go Lightning and Poison and use Zephy to have some unkillable in there for 8 seconds. But because we have no skill haste, it's not really gonna, gonna be too crazy, you know. Wow. How did that happen there? Yeah, this is a restart. You really wonder who came up with the idea defend champions with attack. I think they made them like this so they don't fill up multiple roles and to deal damage as well. Skill type was it? I thought that I cleansed, no? Let me stop her again. You failed and you didn't got 2 million. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting 2 million either. It's hard, bro. 2 million. Is but I'm going to go with my uh I'm going to go with my uh with my wild team in there. I'm gonna get Flurbar to heal. I'm gonna get Reita for increased defense and to help a bit more. And if that doesn't work, I might consider taking in the fourth damage dealer. Dude, you just pulled Tamar. Awesome, Tango. She's amazing. Tamar rocks, man. Tamar rocks. It's gray. What's gray, Majestic? Ah, that skill timing icon. Yeah, yeah, I'm not using that. I'm not using that. Because it's not really helpful at the moment. <laughs> the problem that we had was here. The boss just melting us down, you know. Like, we're so squishy at the moment. And when we don't have the crisp attack on the boss, it's a, it's a bit of an issue. Your first try, you got 2.8. Nice. What, what did you use? So I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of uh, necrosis materials, man. Like I would like to to get more of the fire ones. Like I'm not planning to to do any necrosis. Let's see how many runs I still have left to do in here. So we can move uh, over to to the next part, you know. Okay, so we've we've got that covered. All the daily quests are done, and right here I have save damage in vortex three times, complete ten daily quests. So this will take me uh, three more days to complete. And uh, what am I getting next? I'm getting stamina. I will definitely need this stamina badly. Luckily, I still have two pots. To, to get some more from there. So I need two more runs in the domain and then I'm done. So I'll need to farm a lot of 
out of goblin how many of your characters were uh, at 70 guys for the for the vortex cuz i have a feeling i won't be able to push them all there how you sh how you should build tamar with uh, a lot of skill haste if you're planning to use her for uh, for the Feymander, put her on a stun set. Dr. Ink, thank you for the follow. What's up? What team comp? I'm going I'm gonna use uh, Tunnel Nun, I'm gonna use uh, Erich, I'm gonna use uh, uh, Frerbart, probably Reita or a, a different support, and I'm gonna use uh, Kaspar. You had to add 70, rest 60, okay. Do we have enough stamina to get all that up and running today, though? I have two refills of stamina, the smaller ones. Exclamation sign drops, guys. Exclamation sign drops. Have you seen the title? It's drops, not drops. Drops. Hey, Omer, what's up? What's up? How is it going? What well, artifact uh, would work better? I mean, depending on who, but... I prefer Witch's Remains overall. It's, it's better. It does help you to have the crown early on. Maybe for a higher chance to land it. But I'm going to go on multi-heaters. So that will get the job done for me. If you only focus on two teams, you get 4 to 70. Yeah, I'm only focusing on one team, bro. Literally one team. That's all I'm doing today. Because I'm reselling the heroes. I don't care. You know, I'm just going back and forward. But yeah. Preferably, you can call it two two teams because I'm got I gotta farm the the materials, you know. So let's call them two teams. One and a half, one and a half is fair enough. One and a half, one and a half. That's 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 what I'm standing, guys. Yeah, that's why I know, I know. I I, I was uh, I was a bit slow minded on it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna admit it. You you caught me. You caught me, I was slow minded on it, and it took me it took me twenty seconds to analyze the situation and realize what uh, what uh, is being discussed in here, you know. Okay, this is the last run. You can decide which artifact to buy next. You already have the eyeball, the arcane box, crown, and the wine of uh, dragon blood. So you need one more as an epic. Probably, probably, I would suggest you to look and uh, get either uh, either the, the lamp, you know, you get ultimate energy. I feel like damage-wise, you're pretty sorted, you know, so... That that would be my uh, my advice to you. Get get your lamp, the spiritual incense burner, or scarab amulet is a very good one. FYI, uh, getting as well the where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The manticore is pretty good for battle skills. You know, so you have a few options. A scarab is a is a strong one here. Yeah. If you're planning to use it on your tank, and I feel like early on, at the moment now, it, it will be so, so uh, impactful. And those red dots. Uh, what we get from here? Oh, just gold. So we reach the points limit. Upgrade your journey level to unlock this feature. Okay, so we got to do one more uh, level there. But we need to head over to the goblin. So my problem right now will be that um, I need my uh, arena. So just to make my life easier, guys, let me just... Oh, you just pulled Perkunte. Get out of here, bro. I, I don't want to talk to you today, Majestic. Congrats. Congrats. So what I would suggest you guys to do as well, if you're saving your teams, just to make your life easier, if you're constantly going to reset teams, so since they've added this massive QOL thing, 
and many games need to learn, including Raid Shadow Legends. I know you guys will be watching this on the YouTube channel for Raid Shadow Legends. Raid needs to copy this from Dragonair, hands down. It's just too good and they need it right now. They need to copy it from Dragonair because they've done an amazing, amazing job right here with these presets. It's game changing, okay? Literally game changing. So we're going to drop this down because we don't need it. So we're going to create one and we're going to call it Vortex. Uh, Vortex, uh, Goblin, sorry. And here I will have all of them leveled up with gear. So then whenever I'm uh, changing something on them, I'll be, I'll be ready, to, ready to rumble with that. Because I feel like I need to do some of the Goblin now to be able to unlock my journal to the next, uh, the next uh, step, you know. And by the way, the flat stats are better than percentages at the moment, okay? Flat stats over percentage. Keep that in mind as well, huh? Very important. You got Talendor. Talendor is amazing too. Like, that's another hero that's really on, uh, on, my, uh, on my list, you know? Oh, uh, I just, I just, I just done the stupid thing, didn't I? I did, huh? I've done that before. I've done that before. Luckily, I only need to equip four, and there are not many, many options in here to distract me. When you click load, but then you want to click save, you know? And when you click save instead of clicking load, and that happens, and everything gets messed up for you. But there we go. We got our goblin team up and running. So right now, I need to drop my Rata. That's it. Rata, I liked you a lot, but this cannot continue anymore. So we go to events, select, Rata, confirm, give me back my materials. And see you never. See you never or see you next time. And now we can go back to do our, uh, our arena and farm some more goblin and be able to, to, be able to uh, make, make a 70 after. And this new feature, man, one click, bang, max level. Amazing. Brand new season, span new game. So many new things. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. But I need a lot of materials to rank this up to 70. So I'm gonna have to start with, uh, with this bad boy. But in order to do this, of course, I need to do my fire team to be able to dive into that before. And it will be a bit of a struggle. I will have to keep him in the team though, because as a tank, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna stay alive. I feel like it. So we have an attack, uh, an attack aura in here. Hackro, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Or merci. Jeff Raid will make no more profit of you. This game will. I mean, yeah, bro. If they're giving you what you need as a player, you know, like if you're finding yourself in the in the right environment, hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, it makes it a lot of fun, uh, uh, Labidicity. And uh, the good part is that with the presets now, it's easier to do that as well, to constantly reset, you know. If I'm going for Poison Lightning, that's the goal for the, for the moment, uh, Poison Lightning. The good part is that you only need three of the characters to be from that element for the moment, because it's a five-man elemental affinity. But for the Vortex, I'll be going with Fire, preferably, you know. And if I need to change, to go with Fire and then keep... Keep Furbart and go with fire and uh, disband this team for the moment is fine. It doesn't matter. My main goal why I went with this team is just to kind of like tick all my boxes and be able to do the goblin, you know. Furbart gives me healing. I have all the AoE damage at the back. I have decreased attack. I have basically what I need, you know. And yeah, I don't have Ogak. I have, uh, I have Zephyr though. But you can go with both of them, which is crazy, huh? You quit after three years, you had a 21 million account, nice. Hack, what's up, what's up? How is it going, bro? Appreciate the follow and the sub, of course. WD Group, hello, what's up? So I cannot restart this yet. I'm just like at a one star, unfortunately. But you know what? It's a... Uh, 
still better than uh, doing the lower stages. I'm curious if I would have went with the full Radiance team. How well would have uh, would have that work, you know? Probably pretty good. Probably pretty good. Like Hubert would have just nuked this uh, these goblins down instantly. Felt like a weight was lifted off you. Sometimes it does though. That's when you know that you, you gotta stop it, you know. I'm a warrior. Just subscribed. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up? Okay, done with, done with my coffee for the day. Got all the energy in. By the way, guys, if you haven't followed Dragonair on their socials, make sure you guys do it because they're hosting all sorts of different events, community events, uh, giveaways. Uh, they actually had recently a, a competition where you're des uh, designing your 20-face uh, uh, dice, which was pretty awesome. Of course, you are getting rewards while you're doing it. But at the same time, you would have the chance to have your own dice in-game. Isn't that freaking cool? So definitely check out their, uh, their socials. I think I think we are getting close. I got a new burn as well, guys. I got this this bad boy as well as a burn new hero last night. Slinky Mike, Axhole, what's up, guys? Appreciate the follows. Alexander Drago, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? What's up? What's up? So this is new as well for me last night. I got I got him off stream. This and Malak were off streams, you know, kind of like uh, I went to, to that shop, clicked on it, and uh, that magic happened. You just got to dupe the rem, nice. So now you can actually purchase a legendary artifact. No, no questions asked, no second thoughts. Just do it. I'm thinking what uh, what healer should I use with my team for uh, for the other uh, elemental affinity? Because I'm I'm gonna be bringing in the fire team, right? I could make a necrosis healer. I could make Megan. Huh? I could make Megan. She should she should do the job. I think that that would be a good option. Hellgate Greece, Kalispera Philip Wissere. Kariftovoli. Here for the drops. Welcome for the drops. Get your drops in. If you haven't connected your account, your Dragonair account to the Twitch Prime account, make sure you do it. You pulled your second Acrisia. Oh, nice. She's nice. Lots of fun in Hydra, yeah? She's lots of fun in Hydra. Come on, get these get these little goblins down. Give me my potions, cause I'm eager to to get my heroes up and running. Once I get a damage dealer, though, once I get a damage dealer to to seventy, will be will be nice. Like even Sigrid, Sigrid could uh, could carry a lot of firepower in here, or Irina, one or the other. Yeah, Sigrid top. Yeah, she's very very good. Actually, not just Sigrid. I love this uh, combination for the elements this season. Lightning and fire, like Irina, she's such an amazing rare champion too, you know. Like they have a really, really good mixture in here. So let's see if we can uh, actually get some of uh, our heroes up. Like I know I need a lot of uh, a lot of materials, but for him, I for him I don't need that many actually. Probably one run against the frost would get me what I need, but I don't want to use the frost. So that will be a waste of energy right now. Let's leave that on the side. Let's go and do my uh, my uh, fire element, you know. We can't take him all the way to 60, okay. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. So even even if I want to change, I could go with the with the fire team to to do the goblin, but I need Dane for it. So I'll need Dane. Dane, who else? Erich, Dane, the traveler. And I'll need somebody else. Maybe that will have the potential to, to get the stars, the stars done faster. And then I can keep Erich and Sigrid in there too. And that might allow me to farm better the... The Goblin. Should we do it quick? Should we just reset a few of the champions? Let's try it, right? Like, it's... it's literally not, uh, not losing nothing. So maybe if we do one, two, and three, we keep those two, we reset these ones. The main question is, is if I will have enough materials for them. And I'm not, move, not going to the vortex just yet, basically, you know. So this will quick upgrade. No, we're going all the way to level 50. Actually, 49, just to make sure we're not using all the materials. Okay. So what is... Where are we? Should we make him? I feel like Dane will, will be better. Dane will be better to, to make him up and running. And then, if I can, fa if, if I can farm better, if I can farm better the, on the Goblin, you know, to farm maybe with three stars, That could be game changing. Also, we can make two of the fire now, okay? And I said the traveler. Do I have maybe a better fire option than the traveler that is scrolled and deals a lot of AoE damage? Not really, huh? There are not that many options. And necrosis. Necrosis could be another option too, but who does that? Because none of them do it either. None of them do it either. Like, out of all of them, yeah, so I feel like uh, the Traveler, for the moment, will be the, the best option. That would be the best, best option. Why, why not use Tamar in place of uh, Lola? Because uh, of the decreased attack and everything that she was bringing. And I don't want to start with too many legendaries, you know. Like I wanna, I wanna be able to to do accurate guides for you guys, basically. So we can finally put in some artifacts, guys. Let's go. So you know what? We're gonna give you something else. We're gonna give you the arcane music box. It doesn't matter that we're not boosting the damage, but just getting the the stats on would be nice. That extra crit rate. Let's refine them so they're ready. I really gotta push for uh for the arena arena artifact. So I've been slacking last season. I haven't done it. Like it's it's kind of like a must to do it now. So, Dane, let's give this to Dane, Eyeball of the Giant, and we're gonna give you this. We're gonna give you. We're gonna give you this. The more damage, the better. What pieces we have in here? That and another crit rate or attack, I'll take that too. So Dane looks juicy too. And then we have Erich. Now Erich is not uh, at the next rank yet. We don't have the materials for him either. In a way, I regret that I haven't done him instead of the, the Traveler, but that's fine. Let's uh, give him some, some ra random gear. That one will go actually on Sigrid. Maybe we can do even, even if it's two stars on the Goblin. You know, it's already an improvement from what we had before. So that will 
will be welcome to the to the team. Let's let's give it a go and see. You don't mind if it takes more time. You just want a game which isn't like Ray playing for two years and you're stuck on both sides. Yeah, I feel you. The skills don't reset. No, the skills do not reset. No, I I feel like that would uh, that would be a mistake. Honestly, I don't think. Uh, Personally, I do not. I don't think that should be a thing. You know, that really breaks the whole economy of the game. So now we're dropping the the attack aura. We don't have that anymore, but we can boost this. Let me just give you the other blue piece. And let's see, is this working better by any chance? I will have maybe to time a bit Sigrid, just to make sure Dane goes first or a. Uh, uh, either Furbart. There we go. And this might work better right now. Average is not the best option, but hey, that's that's what I had as AoE. Windrun, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What's up? What's up? What's up? New season, you lost your summon dice? No. You keep them. If you save summon dice, scrolls. Anything like that, you keep them. You don't keep anything that is related to stamina. No bread, no not the gear or uh, those things, you know. But the rest, everything stays. Yeah, this is better. This is better. This is much better. Maybe, maybe we get it three stars. Come on. Dane, wipe them off. No. If, if I manual it a bit. That's what I needed. Dane here and then Sigrid would have been wipe off. Let's let's do it. Because if we manual it a bit, we're just trying to, to maximize to get to the three stars, you know? I don't even know how many pots we're actually getting extra, but just give them to me. I'll take it. Ace Manson, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Dane is too late. No, if you, if you started like that, it's fine. If you don't start it late, he's good. Oh, I have multiple ones to, to set that anyway, you know. The problem there is that I left him do it when I was supposed to don't. I wish they would implement like an AI where basically the characters are smart enough to know when to use their ultimate and when to don't use it, basically, you know. Appreciate the follows, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, this run is not going as good as the previous one. So maybe we'll be we'll be chilling with two, two stars. I'll be happy with that too, probably. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I have another one. I'm not, I'm not three starting it. Yeah, that's for sure. Not yet, not yet. Problem only if Erich would actually put in some, some more work. You know, basically, that would make such a difference if he would put in some more work. But he doesn't really do, do that much in terms of. Uh, and that was so close to two star it again. So I can, I can improve it to two stars again. If you have your hero scrolled, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, any of that. Especially when you have Furbart in here as well. He works as a good enabler. It's true, we, we, we do need a few more heroes that cover the entire uh, area. Like Voresh does, for example, you know. Furbart is not the best, but you need a bit of, uh, a bit of support as well. Because if no, the goblins will kill your champions. So he's just tanking, you know. He's not the best, but he's not the worst either. My champions are too squishy now, so the goblins will kill them pretty quick. Once I can put an artifact on a Voresh and be able to put the witch's remains, 
Job done, guys. And this is pretty close to 3 star. This is the last wave, you see. That's what I need. I need I need uh, the witch's remains and uh, his job done. If I have Usha, uh, I do, yeah. So you're getting three small pots. Not such a big difference, though. Not such a such a big uh, big deal there. <clears throat> okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna take your advice in, and see if she survives. I'm curious. I I use the tech food though. I use I use food. It was pretty close though. Potato, what's up, bro? I would open a a, a Helia light, and I think I might be able to. I'm not sure. If I have enough gems, let's see. So many requests in there. I don't have enough yet, bro. I'm sorry. I don't have enough yet. I I almost got to it, but. Hmm. No, no, no. Let's see. I think I need to do Vorash as well. Or I, I don't think I have I done him or no. I think I did actually. So we gotta do fraud bot. Yeah. Break out the wallet. I will later probably a bit, yeah. <laughs> I will probably later, yeah. Let's see. I don't I I for whatever reason I don't think she's uh, going to be able to to stay up and running cuz even before he was getting wrecked, you know. So that's a bit uh I wish I would have flat attack, man, but I don't I don't have flat attack either, you know. You like seeing maximum gameplay on common items, I know, huh? It's kind of like key to have them. Kind of like key. If I have no, I don't have ripcast now. No ripcast here. I wish, I wish, but I don't. I wish, but I don't. Do we still have food? Attack up for 10 more seconds. Uh, for 2 more minutes, sorry. So you want to put her behind and somebody else to, to get on him, huh? He's already too slow, you see? We're already slower than we were before. But maybe she's gonna she's gonna catch up. Maybe she will catch up though. She has time. It's always like this, bro. Even even when you even when you're on high difficulties, you know, your heroes are too under under level for ca uh, content like this to survive. Once you're really in the end game, you don't need anything like that to serve to keep them alive. But for uh, for things like this, you need you need something to to get them up and running. Yeah, probably a Voresh would work here with a with a healing. Yeah, but that will break my elemental team.
Was this the last wave or should I expect another one actually? Either way, we're not uh, we're not getting the stars. Let's back out. Yo, Morad, howdy, howdy, what's up? Phantom, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up? Yakumo Fuji, thank you for the follow. How is your day going, guys? Evening, morning, afternoon, whatever you guys are in the world. How is it going? Let's let's reset Usha, bring back Maya Fervart. Because we are planning to change to go and do something else right now. So Usha, she can uh, go back. See you later. See you later, Usha. Thank you for the follow as well, Phantom. So Miss Mr. Frobart. <laughs> We're going to try and do the poison lightning uh, element. I'm thinking if I should take Garius instead, maybe. The tank should survive though, right? Like we, we would expect him to survive there. I, I'm expecting him to survive there. Do I have too much faith in him maybe? What do you guys think? Too much faith in him? So poison and lightning. Can we do it? I feel like I don't need Sigrid in here. I could reset Sigrid and bring in a different uh, different element, a different sort of character, something. Uh, Voresh, potentially. Or any anyone else, really. Maybe, maybe we bring in Megan. Because we're, we're going to try to go to the Vortex after. That's why I'm doing this, you know. But I, I, I'm going to keep Frerbart. He's going to be the main, the main healing, healer in there. So I need him at the, next, uh, at the next level. But she's not going to be part of it. Or any healer would work, not necessarily Megan. No. From the fire, anyone else? Adolphus is not going to do much now. He's not going to have a good shield for us, I think. Huh? Yeah, let's, let's go back. I have materials for Megan, so that's, that's easy. That's going to be easy. Just like that. Do you potato? I mean, you're 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 close to it, aren't you? Plenty of materials actually, so we can we can give her an artifact too. Let's give her some skill haste. And which one of my fire ones? Don't have rare gear. So like this, I feel like my Frerbart should stay alive. Megan should help him to stay alive, you know. I think this 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 could potentially work. Hopefully. 
Yo, CDS, from your Jamaican number one fan. What's up, brother? How is it going? Wagwan. Wagwan, CDS. Appreciate the follow, my dude. Appreciate the follow. Wind drone. Hello. Right, Cordero. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I, th I think we're good with this. I think we're good with this. Seems like we are... We are doing it, yeah. Sicarius, thank you for the follow as well. Thanks for your videos. You're 65 on your server. Nice. Awesome stuff, my dude. Awesome stuff. Congrats. You're getting some nice rewards. I finished number 69. I finished number 69. If I was trying, I promise you guys, if I was aiming to finish number 69, was not going to happen. No chance. Literally no chance. So this felt like a breeze. Should we attempt stage 3? I think so. Uh, I feel like the the difficulty is so much higher. I finished the Fey. I finished the Fey, yeah. I finished it like 5 days before the end of the season, yeah. Was quite a bit of a struggle. Was really challenging. Was very annoying. And very, very enjoyable at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense to you. <laughs> but was so annoying sometimes. And, but I love that at the same time, you know? Crazy. You 142? Yeah. Uh, you will find quite a few challenges from there on. Use a lot of stun sets. Make sure you're timing your skills. You're manualing and paying attention to everybody, how they move. And you should be able to, to get that done. This feels like a bit of a struggle here. I have a feeling that we are not uh, we are not getting this. Yeah, we lost one. That Shagrel just smashed me. Huh? The problem is the wave, seems like. I feel like the boss as well will melt us. But once we're going to get more characters to, to the higher level, we should be able to, to get it done. Your server has 10 days left. Oh, nice. You have, you have enough time to do it. I literally finished like... Uh, the last 80 levels in the last 7 or 8 days. So the Traveler is down. He's not the most essential or important character in this, in this team. Let's see. Ooh, this hits quite hard. But we, we might still have a chance to... It's, the problem is that heal reduction. Not having it there, you know, and not being able to dispel the, control, the continuous heal. And the Electrocute debuff is... Yeah, we're not doing this. Even the even the healer went down. I thought I thought that would be a bit of a stretch to go to this. Danny Boy CV, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I do hope that in the future will they will uh, adjust this uh, Danny Boy, yeah. Because uh, I I that's the feedback from everybody so far. So they will have to. To find a way on how they can adjust this for uh, for the players. Yeah, end of season is awesome though. So don't don't get uh, don't get uh, derailed from it because you have so many things to 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 do. Build the teams for the for the chaos shadows for the open world bosses. Make sure you're doing as many as possible. Rank as good as possible towards the end of the season because you're getting tons of rewards and those are awesome to have. When you start season two, because you can get so many other goodies from there after. You know, it's so, so important to do it, honestly. And I think this one more run should, should be everything that we need here. I don't think we need more than that. And I have one, two fire at 52. So that means that I kind of need an, my third fire. To go to, to the next level. And then, either another poison, either any other element, which doesn't really matter, I guess. So that's, that's the good part. I could use a lightning element. I could use, a, I could use even a necrosis, even a radiance, maybe. So I have options. How many of these we have? 
10. You need 15 or you need 12. You need 12, right? So we need to do one more run. You're currently trying to keep top 100. That's, that should be the goal, yeah. So up, up from top 50 to 150 is the same thing, what you're getting. But being top 100 is just feeling more accomplished, I think. Yeah, all levels and equipment uh, do Hellgate, yeah. But that's fine, because you have brand new ones, you know? You have brand new things in, in Season 2 to get. Different, uh, different things. Let me just quickly grab a bit of water, guys. So my, my Frerbart can go up higher. The more defense he has, the more healing I'm getting. So that's going to be helpful. Every server changing season to beginning or what? Uh, they will eventually, yeah, all of them, yeah. Dane is such a good epic, man. Dispelling the, the buffs or stealing them or removing them or whatever he wants to do is just so, so good. So I should have 120, 150 more stamina. So that's 15 runs on Mino. But I feel like I need to do more on the on the fire. I'm supposed to do more on the fire, which was silly me, because I'll have to basically rebuild the other team. Hmm. I think Rata, Rata. Should I go with Rata for the Vortex? I don't need a cleanse. The increased defense can be helpful. I'm curious if... If I'm trying to do more fire, that means that I'll have to bring Adolphus for the shield. Which is great, but the problem will be that... Uh, I need to farm so much of the fire domain. To make two more characters. So that's a bit pointless. Who else should we do? Should we do Zaffy? Should we do Zaffy? We have increased defense from Zaffy, yeah. We'll do Zaffy. But I don't have I don't have more decreased attack from there. Hmm. I don't think Zaffy will uh will do the job either though. That's the problem. This is not gonna help me. This is not gonna help me either. So it's just this one. But the invincibility. It, it won't allow me to, to heal back, you know. Parivol is very good. Yeah, he's a very good damage dealer. Allegria, thank you for the follow. Uh, Materaus, thank you for the follow as well. True, uh, true eye. Damn, who are we taking in, guys? I need a character. Maybe Magan to just heal me. Yeah, maybe we maybe we go with Magan. Maybe we go with Magan. My main problem is to don't have to uh, do another element. You know, that's why I'm that's why I'm um, going back and forward. Rata would be nice because this will help a lot with the uh, decrease attack. You know. But that means that I still need to farm like what five. Three, four more runs of the goblin. I cannot do a full necro team chop fish now. Yo, Jeff, have a good day at work, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by, and I'll, I'll catch you later. I can do lightning without a problem. I should be able to build a radiance without a problem too. Um, a frost hero without a problem. They're not the best. We don't have the best supports in the frost though. Lighting as well. I don't have Nathaniel, so that kind of like puts her off. Let's just see how uh, how we're going, and we'll see after. Okay, how many we have? I have three, and I have eleven. 
So we need uh, we need to do this a couple of more times. Is the same journey? Uh, no, it's not. This is uh, the 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 location is still in the same place, but it's not the same journey. No. So I need one, two, three, four to make them back, basically. And I think I had a preset. Didn't I have a preset for the goblin with the old one equipment plan? Let's do that. So now I'm quickly gonna give them levels, you know. I supposed to save one preset before I've, I've done that, but okay. That that would uh, that would have helped a bit, you know. So I need to farm this three more times probably. Three times we'll get the, the job done. So I need to make presets. This is gonna be key for all of us guys. Make presets will be very, very helpful, huh? very helpful because it saves you time from moving this gear back and forward you know i know it doesn't matter the gear because it's not that wow but it does uh, it does save you save you some time flavio what's up hello hello jack what's up oh she's only a level 30 now she only needs to survive once right that's what matters No point to bother with that more. So I just need more materials to get my uh, third fire hero at level uh, 70 or rank 3. Whatever level they, they will get. So now we can do this on him. For the moment, let's give him the witch's remains, you know. That's gonna that's gonna work good. It's gonna help us a bit with the damage. What's up? What's up, Jack? Ginger, long time YouTube watcher of yours. Good to see you're doing well. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you stopping by. And uh thanks for watching for a long time, my dude. Means a lot. Appreciate you. What's up, Flavio? Hello. What's up? What's up? Is the epic box back? Probably the epic box will be back, guys, uh, towards mid-season. I feel like in three weeks or so. Three, four weeks. That's when we got it last time. Because it showed that we will have it, you know? Like, it was named as seasonal, so I am expecting to, to see it again, yeah. Ikigami, Ikigai, thank you for the follow, what's up, what's up, Pastran, thank you for the follow as well. Vago. So once we're done with this, we can... Uh, then move back to the goblin, drop all the stamina that we have in there. And hopefully we won't regret it, you know, basically. And hopefully we won't regret it. So I need... I need 36 of this in total. You need 12, 12, 12. I think we might have plenty of those. Let's let's see. Challenge again. I feel like these two, these two runs will give me what I need. And then I'll really have 120 stamina for the goblin. I'll try to go with... Uh, with 60 first, and see if I'm planning to change any of the characters for uh, for the Vortex, because I really wanna wanna drop the two million in, you know. That's kind of like a challenge that I that I made last last season. My uh, Vortex Vortex characters they weren't that great, you know, so that made quite a bit of a difference. So hopefully now it will be better.
What's up, Vago? Hello. Oh, I haven't cleansed, man. I got distracted. That cleanse is so important to land it manually. So, so important. Because if we're not getting it in, it's uh, pretty much game over for, uh, for our team there. All the stacks of burn, guys, they detonate. And that's exactly how the new burn characters work as well. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's time it. Eighteen seconds. Once you have skill haste, it will be easy on uh, on auto. Hey, how to get to the alliance bonus stats? You're in top guild, ten level, but still don't see anything. Uh, so the that will appear during the season, yeah. Once you uh, unlock the other world event, and your alliance will have quests to complete, and that will uh, give you uh, stats. You have different milestones. Ginger Jack, you watched the video a while back, and they said Scratch is a huge fan of Trollgar. Is that true? I like Trollgar. Yeah, I actually that was my first legendary that I ever scrolled. And if you had a chance to watch my uh, arena tournaments with the other CCs where we had uh, all the characters in-game available, you will see that I actually used Trollgar. Because he, he badass. He's good. He's good. One more run in here, guys. And that will that will do our Casper, we'll do our Dane, we'll do our Arich, and they will be ready to rumble in the Vortex. But before that, of course, we have another lovely stop at the, at the Goblin. He's, he looks like a superhero when he jumps the back line, I know. Huh? That's why I like him. That's why I like him. He's awesome. Try defeating three of them in Faye is painful. He's painful. Same with the... Uh, same with Questa. So painful. Even with Shagrol is painful. Even with Sagamirs, guys. Like three Sagamirs are probably the most annoying thing in there in the Fae. Together with Mitrassi as well, not with any other character, you know. Pete Adrian. Uh merci de follow. Ooh. Are we getting this? This was not meant to happen, but it still happened. Boom. I cleansed, but sometimes the boss just doesn't have the crease attack and deals too much damage. But we, we are here to maximize everything, guys. We are here to maximize everything. And because of it, we will have to retry different things, you know. But if you guys want to download Dragoner Silent Gods, if you haven't played the game yet, guys, it is available to download uh, on pretty much all the devices. You can download it on your PC uh, by uh, going to the Epic Store on the Steam. They have their own client, so you can di download it directly from their website. You can download it on Mac, you can download it on iOS, you can download it on Android. And you can download it by clicking on the banner that you see below the chat. You can download it by clicking on the link you see in the chat right now, or in the description down below, or in the pinned comment. And yeah, give it, give it a try. I can guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. You'll love it if you haven't played it so far. Because it's a lot of fun. Are you guys having fun in the game? Let me know in the in the chat there, huh? Or whoever is here. Are you guys having fun in the... Oh, and we're gonna die again. No decrease attack, man. That was painful. Why don't we have decrease attack now? Like, somebody got resisted or what?
Ginger Jack TV, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 9 out of 10. That's good. That's good enough. That's good enough because you can't go much higher than that. You're at the ceiling already, bro. You're at the ceiling. Solid game. Lots of fun so far. Nice, nice, nice. So again, we're going to have to reset our characters, guys. I, luckily, I have a team for this. So it's all, uh, all done here. I always purchase uh, for the first two months. I purchase one refill daily. Just one. I'm not going overboard, you know. You guys purchase uh, you guys purchase them all or uh, no or not one as well you're loving the game you came from raid with you to here recently nice glad to hear it you're on first season but still yeah first season is a lot of fun like i i had such a blast I enjoyed building so many teams for the world bosses and then for the dragon we had like four or five days before our server murdered that boss because we had a crazy server and uh it was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of dopamine to build the teams you know and get the, the best results and retry it and do it quick Definitely. So right now we're going to reset all the other characters and come back in here. Wonder how the season will end? Yeah, I'm curious as well. We will definitely have something similar, like the endgame grind. So one, two, or three. And we reset you three here. Give me back my uh, my material. So let's head over back to build our uh, goblin team now. Make sure I'm saving it. Make sure I'm saving it. Man, I would love to get somebody else instead of Erich, honestly. But I don't know who. Who has a good AoE damage that can be really, really impactful in here. And don't die. You know, that's that's the main question. I guess I could go lightning. Or instead of the traveler, I feel like both of them could be eliminated. But then I, I cannot really get them to 70. So that's the problem. That's the problem. We'll come back to build you. Gotta keep in mind as well that uh, I need more pots for the other hero. Because my Frerbart is at a higher level than uh, they were before, so make sure I, I don't have issues there. Okay. Team up and no damage. Need more coop modes. Yeah, more co-op like the Outlands would be would be nice, yeah. I do think they could possibly do some sort of raids in the future where we co-op. You know, I feel like that would be very, very nice. Very interesting. And I don't see why they wouldn't do it, you know. I don't see why they wouldn't do it in the future. Like, there's really no reason for them to don't get more into it because... At the end of the day, what really, really uh, brings and keeps people is social experience, you know? And uh, that is part, part of it. Wait, do I have a different attack? I do. My poor Dane has barely any crit. Four crit rate. 
Oh, they are watching. I mean, they might. They might. You never know. You never know when you're being watched. <laughs> you never know when you're being watched. Oh man, I thought that I had enough. Ah, third. I don't know what I miscalculated. Seems like I still. I still have to do another run in there. Ah. Oh. Okay, we'll leave that for the end. Let's 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 just do the. The goblin now. I don't know what I miscalculated somehow, but yeah, not not flying with me right now. Not flying with that right now. Something I definitely miscalculated, but don't ask me what, because I have no idea. No idea what. So one's ready. Two almost ready. Let's give her back the helmet. I felt like I need to give the better one to Dane. He deserved it. So she's ready. He's ready. He's ready. So now what I need to do is to save this. To make sure I won't uh, drop it before uh, next time again. So it's easier to swap now. You know, It's just basically reset the heroes. Bring them back. Reset the heroes, bring them back, and uh, change like that. Much, much better. I was going to say, did all of them use their ultimate there? Three co-op a week. Yeah, I want to I wanna see more, more interesting stuff, though. Not just um, as it is. They could, they could make some more interesting stuff, you know? And I feel like they will in the future. This is this is still a very young game, and having this implemented already, already from the very beginning, I feel like they will definitely, definitely do more interesting things, you know, with uh, with that feature. Appreciate the follows, guys. What's up? Welcome to the stream. How is your day going? Look at that, Dane. Sigrid wiping them off now. Almost. The goat, but I was gonna make like a like a sheep. I don't know how the goat does, but pretty similar. Uh, <laughs> goat, goat. <laughs> the goat must be doing the goat. Yeah, we're not getting three stars on this though. Maybe with a bit of a bit of a better timing, we we could. I got I got quite a few new legendaries actually. I got one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five new legendaries yesterday. Six with one of I got one from the horn today. So random, so so random, unbelievable. I need to learn this recipe. I cannot use the last one because I'll forget what it is. Seems like fish, oranges, stuff. I got uh, I got Suta today from the horn. I was just chatting with some people and uh, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I rolled 20. I rolled 20. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I hit the, the 20 though. What are you doing there, Fervart? So before I was lacking the attack food. 
I think I can make 3 to 70. And I'll be happy with that. But I would prefer to have them all at uh, rank 3. Just to be able to equip uh, artifacts, you know, that's just too important. Congrats on your Legos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ruthless, you just started playing the game. Welcome to the crew. How are you liking it so far? Welcome to the crew. I think I will keep 10. Uh, actually, I don't need to keep 10, man. So I, I can uh, use the other refill. So I haven't got the Legos that I really wanted to get, but I'm hoping to, to get them as well, you know? I don't give up easily, so I'll be trying. I'll be trying. That's for sure. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna three star it over. A man can't dream. A man can't dream. Erich and the Traveler, they've kind of like weak sauce for this. Have you considered playing DD? Uh not really, Ginger, no. I I don't think I would have time for another game now, even if I would want to, honestly. But yes, how Sirius said, if 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 you're new, check out that guy's scratch on YouTube, you know, like he has tons of different guides, tons of uh tons of uh, awesome things that you know that will help you to to play Dragonair even better, be more efficient, rank higher, get better teams, defeat harder bosses. All that stuff, all that good stuff. He does them all. I don't even know how, but he does it. Been great trying to figure out the game. That's good, Ruthless. It's, it's definitely a fun one. I don't know why Flurbart is just using the, the skill there in the middle of nothing. It's so weird. But that's just the battle skill animation anyway. But <laughs> I don't know. It's still strange. OP Gamer. Thank you, thank you, sir. For spreading the love. Jackson Daniels, what's up? How is it how is it going? I forgot that we have witches remains on a uh, on a uh, Flurbart now. It's still not uh, not effective enough enough to get uh, close to the three stars. But that's mainly because of Average and the Traveler. Those are the two weak links in here. Do you think they'll buff Drist? Uh, I don't think they will do anything else to him anymore. No. I doubt. I I highly doubt it. Damn. Yeah, I think I could. I think I can take. I don't think I can take 3 to 70. Only if I'm purchasing more stamina. Swalk Slag, what's up? What's up?
It's like two X if uh no, you don't have two X events for the moment, no. On the summons ruthless, no. It's not like in raid, no. Not for the moment anyway. We have we have different banners, different summoning events. Probably in the future they might uh, they might do some different uh, events like this, but I don't think any for the foreseeable future, you know. But then, uh, never say never. You don't know what surprises they can do, you know. You made it to stage 5 Goblin while watching? Awesome. Grats, Ginger. Grats. I cannot restart it, unfortunately, man. Oh, I don't even have enough accuracy on my... Uh... On my third bar, look at that, he was getting resisted. But this was so close to three stars. So close. So, so close. Literally. Literally there. Yeah, feel, feel free to pull them all, yeah. Go crazy on them. Go crazy. Good luck on your summons. Maybe you're gonna get something juicy out of them. Something nice and golden. Frerbart is, is, is so weird with his... Uh, with his... Uh, battle skill. Just using it so randomly. I don't know. So random. Sigrid man and the passive is so good. Look at her. She's back on her back on the ultimate. Is this the last wave? Come on, kill them. Kill them all. Give me the three star. Ah oh, no, get out of here. How did I got so far before here? So uh, so quick to to the last wave. Like right now, somebody has been slacking. Ten seconds faster before. I have no idea how, but somehow we did it. You pulled the legendary tank and you hoped you could replace Frerbart, but he's just. I mean, Frerbart is so hard to replace, man, and he's so important later in the game as well. So so important too. It's crazy, actually, how how uh, how good he is, you know. They have one, two, three, four, five heroes. And unfortunately, I need to go and do another run to get one more fire hero up and running, just to put the artifact for the goblin. But before that, I have this. Uh, this last potion, this last stamina bread. So we should be doing a couple of more runs in here. Let's see, do we have more for attack? Yeah, attack and accuracy. I need to keep one for the vortex. So we do five more runs here, and hopefully one of one will be enough for the fire uh, domain. If not, I'll have to wait for my to stamina to recharge to go for the second run but in the meantime we can uh, do some of the the quest line for today you never got for buff you use edgar with supports yeah he's good too but the the good thing with frerbat is that you don't need extra support or if you need you need only one rather than two he fills in so so many roles that's the whole the whole key with him, you know. I think I think this might be the three star, guys. This might be our three star right here. 
What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Ah, oh, I was so close. If if they weren't using their ultimate at such a bad moment, we would have had this in our back pocket. But unfortunately, they messed it up. It was so close. I'm not I'm not gonna push it too hard because uh, we had bad RNG here and uh, it's pointless. But that was close though. It's just Arich, man, and his uh, his splash damage, the way it spreads around, is just so bad. Like, the characters move out of the box, the enemies and the, the, the meteorites are still dropping and the damage goes nowhere, basically. Like you see, the, the meteorites are just dropping at the back, nobody gets damaged by them. If I would have the new exclusive, the burn one, hmm, that would be a different story. That would be a different story. I would instantly drop my Erich out of here. And even without giving him more support to bring other burners for him, he will still do the job. That's how badass he is. You booked him nice. Oh, we had another wave there. Okay, surprise. Surprise. But that's so close, man. I, I literally just need like five more seconds to just get a couple of more, more hits in here. Look. Bang. This, this is the fastest that we got so far. Okay, time to do the Vortex, guys. Let's see where are we getting with the Vortex. Black Juju, salute, salute. Nice to see you live. You're crushing the story with Frost Radiance team. Awesome. That's a, that's a nice team. Radiance is so so powerful and a very good combination now with the with the frost. So we're going to reset you. We're going to reset a <laughs> who are we going to reset? <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep Rata, man. I'm gonna keep Rata. We're gonna reset the three of you. Let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye, chicas. And now let's 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 do this. So I have one, two, three. I need one at 70. And I feel like the best option to take the hero at 70 would be this one. Just too good. Too good. Then would be to make her up to 50 at least. Being tankier, I feel like it will support the team good enough. Probably I will get enough healing from Furbart. At least that is my... Uh, my plan, my idea, hopefully. The next hero that I'm planning to bring up and running will be the one and only Casper. Can go all the way to 70. Hmm. I was gonna say, no way I can get this up. I don't have enough materials. I was like, what? Now what I'm thinking would have been it would have been better to get get him as well at like 60 instead. Keep them 60 and 60 or go with two 70s. So let's see, we're going to give you more defense. We need more defense to heal. So we're going to give you this. What I'm going to do quick, guys, just as the last thing, we're going to forge quick another uh, a few pieces of gear. Rose, I pulled Rose. I'm not, I'm not a fan of her. I don't like her uh, for the moment. Like, I... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, healing probably for the Vortex. Attack penalty 1 on a legendary hero, seriously? Okay, but it does go to attack penalty 2, man. Okay. 
This is the first thing that put me off. When I saw the attack penalty, attack penalty one, I was like, what the F? I didn't notice that, okay? I didn't notice that. That's, that was the main thing that really put me off. <laughs> put me off so bad. So, so bad. So, okay, it's not, it's not that, that shabby then. If, if it's attack penalty two, she's going to be good in my Vortex team. She's going to be good in my Vortex team with Radiance and, uh, and uh, Frost. Okay. So, maybe she's not that bad. Yeah. And especially now that they, they fixed her. So, she can actually use the multi, multi hits. She's she's good now. I I swear I saw, I saw one uh, attack penalty one, and I I missed the other part. She will be so good for the vortex because of the multi hit with which it remains. You know. Very, very good because of it. So I don't need Sagomir. She's actually going to do a much, much better job. She's going to cleanse as well. That's gonna be solid, okay? So, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm not so disappointed that I pulled her, you know? Yesterday, when I saw her, I was annoyed. I was like, oh my god. Really? Really? You out of everybody? Oh, grats, Mark. Grats on the summon there. Can't believe I hit a 20 today. I cannot believe that I hit a 20 today. Let's quickly just fuse a couple more. Just so I can uh, pick a bit better on the on the characters, you know. And the moment of truth. So you get one, and my tunnel will get the other. Actually, mm, Eric should get the other just because of the accuracy. Let's roll a few of these till we get something good because it's not very costly right now. It's good. We can afford to waste all this, uh, all this gold. Seriously, another new code. Dragon BS12115. That is such a weird code. Is that like a code proper? Like for real? Dragon BS. <laughs> Let's see Ziz. Thank you Ziz. New code as well, you see. Thank you, thank you. What is that one giving us? What is that one giving us? Hopefully the same goodies. Oh, okay, not not as good, but you know, I'll I'll take this too. I'll take this too. 
We need all the goodies. We need all the goodies. I kind of want to hit two, two of the good substats, man. Is it so hard? It's not that hard, is it? It's not that hard. Grave of Venom 7 is going to kill you. I mean, yeah, that's going to be hard, dude. Like, that's, that's pretty, pretty far off for the moment. Uh, I haven't actually, I haven't. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully this, not tomorrow, I'm not, I'm not around tomorrow, but hopefully in the next few days though. So 14 attack is 97. I get a flat attack. How, how much is that giving me? 95. Okay, but it can be used, used on others. Okay, so Casper, and for Casper, we should give him the music box. I won't have shield, but you know what? I'll be getting the, the crit rate. You didn't know about codes? Yeah, I used it, and I just, I just put a, another one. Zipper, check out my YouTube channel for Dragonair. I, I know a lot of you guys come from my Raid YouTube channel, and uh, you're not familiar that I have another channel that's dedicated to Dragonair. So in case if... Uh, you're doing that as well. Let me just give you give you the link. Tons of daily guides, promo codes, everything that drops goes there ASAP. So let me just give you the channel. YouTube, exclamation mark, YouTube, and you should get it right there. So that's that's pretty much dedicated to Dragonair Silent Gods for the moment. That's what I'm doing there. So defo, defo, keep an eye on it. Now I do need an attack percentage here. That's for sure. Because is a level 70. That's why it's better. Just gotta make sure I have a. It's gonna say that one. This one will be an better. How much accuracy we needed though? Not even sure. Huh? Shaminoa, thank you for the subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and appreciate the follow. Welcome to the stream. Dark coat, what's up? How is it going? Vakis, hello. Appreciate the followers, guys. So, he should be ready. I think he's ready, too. I have 38 accuracy. That should be enough, huh? Like, I can't really bring much, much more than that. Flat defense. I don't think a defense percentage will benefit him more, though. I'm pretty convinced, in fact, that it won't. But what substats do I have, actually? This drops me accuracy for a bit of a HP. That's fine. Okay, vortex time it is. Vortex time it is, guys. If we don't hit 2 million and we've done all this work, I won't be a happy fella. I won't be a happy fella. That's what I'm saying. Look at all these horses here, man. It's like a horse party. Isolde, Isolde rocks. She's a nice one, yeah? Soldish is a nice one. The problem is I cannot bring any more fire heroes in here because I'm already crippling my entire uh, my entire team, you know. And I have no more uh, materials. That's the main thing. So check this out guys. 12 13 
12.5-20-20-20. Frobart, does it at 16.20. Then Rata, I'll be honest, I kind of forgot it. I think it was 18.5 or 18 and then on 20. If I have to adjust some of the, the timing in here, that will be good too, no problem. Let's see. 2 million, that's what we need, yeah? Let me tap here. 61k damage, is that it? Yeah, my timing is spot on. I don't even know how I how I knew that. Ah wait. I must I must be knowing that from the previous season. That's how the game is saving by itself, right? Uh, yeah. If you if you log out, nothing will uh will get messed up, ruthless. Everything safe saves uh on its own. Yeah. I could delay rate a bit longer to keep the defense down. On more uh, more tries there. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. So what I'm gonna do is put you like this as well. And Rata, she's at eighteen. He's at sixteen. I'm gonna put you at. Nineteen point five. Now I'm gonna put you at fifteen, and like this, I might be able to keep that decrease attack on for a much longer period of time. Let's see. Okay, there we go. 70k damage, guys. 2 million easy. Right before the boss and the timing spot on as well. Okay, so we should keep that defense up now for the both of these two hits. Perfect. And decrease attack on as well there. Beautiful. So that should be a pretty nice timing now. We moved a bit the skills on uh, on my other wild heroes, so I have the defense down. Average has a much higher chance to land it now before they get to use their uh, skill. So we are at 200k damage. And I'm feeling pretty confident that we have a very high success rate of reaching 2 plus million damage. But of course, not guaranteed. I think I need uh, as well to drop Rurbar down to use the ultimate of half a second earlier, right before he's using the skill. What's with the elements? I mean, you only need three man ele elemental affinity at the moment, and I already have that with three fire. The five man elemental affinity will not come in play only for, uh, I mean, only in, in quite a bit of time. Probably what, a couple of weeks, three weeks or so? So till then, you don't have to worry about five men, only three men. Yeah, I need, I need, I need Frerbar to use the ultimate literally half a second earlier. Beam Batra, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What's up? What's up? Yeah, please, if you don't mind. Golden Crow, thank you for the follow. 
uh yeah that's my plan so i made my preset i saved it and from here on i'm just going to constantly upgrade their levels tomorrow i'll be getting more uh, more potions i'm gonna level them up more to 70 and uh they, they stay safe like this. When I'm going to get gear upgrades, which most probably will happen tomorrow as well, I'm going to put them on a, one of my key characters, you know, and that's that's how I'll be moving from here on. That's the whole, whole goal. Daryl, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up? How is it going? Cricket, thanks for the follow. Tonalan is the best. Tonalan, she's the number one epic damage dealer in the game. At least she was before. I don't think anyone will dethrone her for the moment with the new additions. I haven't tried all the new epics, so I'm I'm not going to, to rush to say it. Good, you said my name right. That excites me. Good, because I, I tend to butcher names. You see, I got I got right uh, yours right. Yeah, the Ice Blast epic hero looks sick. That's why I'm saying it. It looks very similar with Tonalan, right? Uh, they are a couple of them that might have the potential to put in some serious, serious work. And if I'm doing the changes that I want to do, guys, I will be I will be passing the damage by a bit more. But Caspar is very good as well though. You see Frerbart, how powerful he is? How he heals the team alone without having any other support whatsoever? Do you need to pair the new Ice Blast character with anyone? Yes, you need more Ice Blast characters with them, yeah? So the whole idea with them is that they're using the battle skill a lot and they're uh, using the, the buffs in order to deal more damage. I got my poor tunnel and I'm hitting for like 2,000, 3,000. That would look so weird to see it like this. Leo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. What's up? What's up? The Kraken, thank you for the follow as well. What's up? So I think I'm, I think I think I'll be doing a radiance. I'll be doing a radiance and a blast team. If I'm if I'm summoning the the exclusive one, that's what I'll be doing. If they fix Rose for the vortex now, is awesome because uh, she can. Uh, she can heal clans for difficulty four. So if I rely on that team, I should be more than uh, more than fine, you know. Oh, we lost Frerbart. Right at two million. Look at that. We got a two million guys. So the, we haven't uh, wasted all the time. Basically, that's good. All this was not in vain. Of course, our healing is gone, so uh, it's game over now. Legendary artifacts. Uh, you want witches, witches remains. You want the rift hourglass. So nice. We got, we got, uh, we got the the two million guys. Top chest. We are moving to the next difficulty for for tomorrow. Nice, nice, nice. Juicy, juicy.
Anything else left here? Nope. And I think I've done my... Uh... My things, right? So I don't need to, to stress about... Uh... The themes too much. What I need to do right now is to basically... Make sure I save the preset of the theme. Which I think I did. I I did right yeah because I've made I made a, a whole uh, a whole preset there. But I don't know if it saved the gear. It should save the gear. I have no more stamina now, and I don't want to purchase any. But I need to kind of like change my theme to the other one now. Don't think this will be good in a in campaign. But let's let's give it a go and see. But actually, this is unlocking at. A later level. We cannot do the campaign yet today, no? Can we? Anyone that did it? Can we do the campaign today? I think we blocked for a bit longer, right? Yeah, journey level 15. Where am I? Fully explore the cemetery of no return. So that will be tomorrow, I think. Is that correct? Seems like it. I cannot get enough. Enough journey XP. Yeah? So I cannot do it today. Ah, okay. So I haven't... I, w I was thinking that, okay, maybe... Maybe I was able to do it, but I was just wasting all that time, you know, doing other stuff. Seems like I wasn't. Okay. Well, that makes it easier then. I still need to find a few, a few treasures. Drickbeak, thank you for the follow. What's up? Yeah, later you should be able to continue with it. Seems like right now, no, because uh, is is gated. Okay, so that's not open either. I'm not sure which uh, which chests I still need to find, to be honest. Let me challenge this bad boy. Should be melting him pretty quick. Any codes out? Yeah, actually, I just put a video on the two codes. Uh, one of them, one of them is Dragon777. And the other one was... Doo -doo -doo, Dragon BS125. One two one five, sorry. So that's one. And and if you do exclamation sign promo code, promo code, you're gonna be able to find a few others. That maybe you haven't used yet. Promo code, promo code, promo code. But I, I might change the command because I see all of you guys just click on code for whatever reason. It seems like it's, uh, it's just easier for you guys to get it like that. So let's find the, the chest. I need a two or three chests or maybe four. I can't even remember how many I'm missing. Make two that do the same. Yeah, you can do that too, I think. That might be a bad idea, actually. Yeah. Most is, ah, most is you use codes. Okay, gotcha. So what? Give me the code from your 
from your from your door give me the code from your car or what code they just use codes because it's code eh? it's shorter though it's easier if you have them if you have all the map on discord yeah please i can't remember which ones i collected already but and some of them were bugged so that would kind of like messed me up a bit yesterday Dries doesn't work okay so that's gone good to know to remove it for next time Hola from Argentina. Que pasa, amigo? Como estas? Bienvenido. I will share them with you. Uh, don't worry, lady. I'll put uh, the image on the screen. Ooh, somebody summoned Beldele, nice. So these are the locations. Big shout out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, for sharing this. Uh, I don't know which ones I collected, so I'm going to have to basically trace my steps again. <laughs> trace all my steps. If anyone wants to take a screenshot. I know I got that one. So where are we? There is one here. Then there is one here. Hey, create a label. I can I need to be there to create it. Okay, that's that's something. I think I collected the one because I just came from that area. So let me just go down here. It's a bit annoying that many of you are uh, weeks away from season two and you're using this season to promo codes and wasting all the gold from them. Yeah, I know, but the gold won't really be very impactful at the beginning. So don't stress too much about it. Because at the beginning, you have plenty of gold. You don't have to worry about it whatsoever. And since they doubled the amount of gold that we used to get before, is uh, is even better now. So you won't, be, you won't be having issues with the gold, trust me. Especially at the beginning. Yeah, I... After reset, I probably had like 20 million. Okay, so I have one more piece. Now, which one is it? I think I have a feeling. I think it's this one here. I can't remember collecting one from there. Can I take the boat from here? I think it's that one, yeah. Yeah, don't don't stress about the gold though. Like it's really no no big deal. Especially the the gold used to become a bit of an issue once you. Uh, get to to the legendary gear but once you're past that there's really nothing that uh will be an issue you know but I, I think i passed the area too it's here or maybe i collected it and i forgot yeah dragon 77 we used the code already that's a very good code actually it gives you 200 plus wire marrow okay so we collected this Ooh. Which one am I missing that? 
So if we collected that, maybe this one here. Maybe. Let's see. We're gonna be like to doom to doom. Do 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 doom do doom. Do 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 doom do doom. Be the drums, guys. Be the drums. Who's 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 uh, who's in charge with the drums here, please? I do have a feeling that I collected this as well. And then it will be even more confusing because I have no clue which one am I missing. So this has been collected. Huh. Maybe the one in between these two islands here. Ah, so it put it pull all this it put all the marks. Let's see, is it, is it that one? Maybe I collected this one too. It just the game was just a bit slow to put my marks. That's why I was like, what? Yeah, I've collected this as well. Damn. Is now making my life easier, guys. So collected that, 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 that. One, two, and three. Well, this will narrow the search at least. Because it might be here. Maybe it's this one. Nope, not this one either. I go, which one is it? Which one is it? That one there? Yeah, it's this one, okay. Okay, so it's here. Oh, and it's a treasure treasure hunt area here too. We, where? Give me my treasure. Is it really a treasure here or you're lying to me? That treasure is not spawning though. Can we move from here with the boat? Oh, I need to go on the other side. Huh? Make sure you guys are collecting all the iron because you will need it. Yeah, it's in the water, yeah. I just saw that it was a, dis a different treasure as well, you know. So I was trying to collect that too, but it was not appearing on the map. Or you mean the treasure is in the water as well and it's just popping there on the screen. Okay, so we completed the map. Okay, so we have a treasure there. Ah, okay, treasure. So somewhere here. Huh? Why is it popping on a on a dry land though? So weird, huh? Appreciate the followers, guys. What's up? What's up? How is your day going? It's in the lagoon, yeah. It's not popping off anywhere, though. Okay, 
More to the east. This one. I got it. The, the, the place where they display the treasure is so far away, though. Yeah, it was that one. Oh, my God. The text was so off. Okay, so we gotta go here at the corner. That's where the ma the map showed us something. Yeah, it was for the map quest. I know, yeah. That was something else, though. That was no, no. I mean the in game you see on the screen when you're moving on the map, it shows you careful you're entering the treasure area. And that was displayed, the text in a part, and then the map, the, the actual treasure was so far away from it. That's what I mean. Ooh, one master scroll. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. So since I'm going uh, with my Radiance team, and they fixed Rose, we can scroll her. Half six, how many she needs? Four. Eight, so I'll need two more. No rush though. Okay, so treasure done. We're waiting for the next the next thing. The only thing that can be done right now is arena. And of course, explore more, correct, collect more tomatoes, because you will need them. Especially early on, like, I, I'm using so much food. Sell me, sell me your tomato and the beast meat. Something that will need as well. And bang. I think they fixed her red eye. That's what I've seen in uh, in chat. In the CC chat that they fixed her. Can't try on Faye. I already killed the boss, but it's a box issue. Hmm. But guys, we're gonna we're gonna end the stream for today. We've we've done our uh, our job, you know. So that's that's what matters. We've done our job. We succeeded in getting pretty much everything else up and running in here. Reach the the vortex damage. We still haven't three star that goblin, but was very very close to the last stage. I feel like we're definitely gonna, gonna do it for tomorrow. The red sweets, uh, practical use? No, you can use them just for your quests, basically. There isn't really much else that you could do with them, you know. So we have Gorex plays on. We're going to drop a raid on Gorex, guys. But in the meantime, if you guys just joined in the stream, guys, and you haven't tried Dragoner so far and you're not familiar with the game, it's an open world, high fantasy game. We have tons of awesome new events. It's a brand new season, guys. Brand new season, span new game, because honestly, we got so many new things. New characters. We got new gear sets, new artifacts, new bosses new challenges bosses with new skills a whole new map a whole new experience because right now we can actually conquer the sea as well and travel with a boat challenge all sorts of new enemies new races of enemies so we got tons of new things to to cover in season two season two is live right now guys so 
you can head over uh, to download the game by clicking on the banner you see under the chat by clicking on the link you see in the chat in the pinned comment in the description the game is available on pc you can download it on steam you can download it on epic games you can download it from their own website they have their own client that's actually what i'm using you can download it on mac you can download it on android you can download it on ios and never skip a bit it's a cross-platform game super easy to get around it very user friendly actually they do a very good job at uh, easing everything that you need to learn, uh, learn about the game, you know. Awesome, uh, awesome QOL things uh, in the game as well. They are doing collaboration events with Dungeons & Dragons every season, guys. This season as well, of course, we will be getting a collaboration with Dungeons & Dragons, so stay tuned for, uh, for all that. But how I mentioned, we will drop a raid on Gorex. Let's actually show him some love. Another fellow, another fellow creator for Dragon and Silent Gods. Uh, for whatever reason, why are we cannot rate him? There we go. I'm not 100% sure if I'll be streaming tomorrow, guys, but I I'm pretty positive that I will. I will keep you posted anyway in my Discord. If you haven't joined my Discord just yet, head over right there to the link that's in the in the com uh, in the chat. Sorry. And if you haven't clicked on the heart to get notified for next time when we're going live, make sure you do it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, daily guides on Dragon and Silent Gods, promo codes, news, everything that you need to learn and know about the game to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. In the meantime, I appreciate every single one of you guys that chose to spend your 3-4 uh, hours of your Saturday evening here on stream with me. Appreciate all of you. Stay safe, don't do anything that I wouldn't do, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening, morning, afternoon, or day, whatever you guys are in the world. Peace.